So catching up have crossed uh, Shimla about uh, half an hour ago. Stopped for uh, brunch. It was already 12 o'clock, so decided the breakfast was already missed. Let's just, uh, nothing heavy, just bread omelette and tea. And again, yeah, you can see nothing, nothing is visible. <laughs> These are all just clouds, might even rain. That will slow the progress. Now next target uh, is uh, Rampur, which is uh, approximately 120-ish kilometers from Shimla. I've already come 10 kilometers uh, ahead of Shimla, so yeah, I've got 110 kilometers more. Let's see how much time it takes, but my goodness, just look at it. Just all clouds. This was Kufri, I think next is Fagu, then Narkand. So, enjoying the ride, yeah. And the cold has started here. I mean, every other person that you see is wearing a jacket or something, so. Of course, a high altitude, this is what it is. I think I'll be descending soon for Narkan, so temperature should get okay. I'm not wearing any warm liners as of right now. It is bearable, I mean it's not that cold. And kudos for the Himalayan as well, man. Uh, 375 kilometers since I started in the morning about six and a half hours ago six and a half hours yeah so all good and this happens <laughs> this does happen the dog was lost in the middle of the road my goodness that is why uh, you always have to be doing the normal speeds nothing Stupid. You never know what's gonna wait at the corner. Enjoy the scenery, enjoy the views. Not much of the views, can't see anything. But yeah, at least. Land slides. Okay, land is just going down. What happens? Where I was having my breakfast, uh, the, at the stall, the guy just informed me, the caretaker, cook, whatever you want to call him, that uh, the roads are pretty decent from now on. So let's hope so. <laughs> so far, so good. Nothing to complain. So Fago, as I said, is about two kilometers. A uh, lot of apple orchards there. I think if the fog, the clouds clear, we should be able to see them. Terrace farming and uh, yeah. Uh, as far as your eyes can go, all you see are just apple orchards. And the good thing is the tiredness is gone. I'm feeling all fresh. And the chill is going to keep me awake as well. Not that I'm feeling sleepy, but I'm reconsidering the option of putting in the liner. just keeps getting better and better so there is sun on that side that's good to know
stupid. So the sun is out a bit. Oof, that was nice. Again, beautiful valleys and good patch of road. Haven't covered much of a distance, <laughs> just enjoying the valley. Yeah, as you can see. Beautiful. I mean, just amazing. These people live in heaven, man. Ah. So as I said, camera right angle, yeah, enjoy the valley and enjoy the, enjoy the apple orchards. This is how they do it here. I just hope the camera angle is right, yeah. So yeah, there were a lot, but this was the one with the most clear view, so I thought I'll just stop. This is almost the harvesting season, so all these uh, four-wheelers, tempo travelers that you see, they are filled with apple being transported from here to the rest of the country or wherever exported even yeah but the roads have been good so far yeah pretty enjoyable can't complain Again, old habits die hard. Some look lights are nice, they just let you go, let you pass like this. Thanks. Some are not that nice. Winding roads, when these come, I kind of forget the scenery. Though I could just notice that there was something very beautiful in the backdrop, but yeah. <laughs> 